Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber, mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So in today's video, we're going to be picking my October TBR. Okay guys, I had a lot of new books added to my TBR now because a lot of gifts came in September, you know, my birthday let me just say my birth month because i was getting presents consistently <laughs> oh my god i have a lot of books to show you i'm going to show you guys soon though so i decided to do something a little different this time around i'm going to be picking my tbr blindly i ac actually snapped the remaining wrapped books there's still some there's still four left but i snapped the remaining wrapped books and i asked my friends to pick numbers and promise picked number nine Kenny picked number 17 and my boyfriend picked number 5. So these are the books I'm going to be unwrapping. And I've decided to only pick 5 books. Oh, uh, no, 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 4. I've decided to pick only 4 books for my TBR that I'm going to actually most, most, m most, <laughs> most likely read. Then I wrote all the books I was given, everything, all the books on my TBR are here, except the ones that are series. Series, I only wrote the first book in the series or the next book in the series I'm to read and I put everything inside this jar. So I'm going to be picking from this jar to read whenever I feel like reading a book. And I, I'm doing it that way because I, I, I somehow feel claustrophobic. Is that a word? I feel pressured to finish the TBR if I pick a lot of books and I don't want to do that to myself again. Four books is something I know that I can finish for sure. Then the remaining four, let me, let me pick it here and it will be like a surprise. Like, I just shake it. Like, legit, it cannot even move, guys. It's so full to the brim that it cannot move. <laughs> but for today, I'm going to be opening these three books my friends picked and I'm going to be picking one random TBR prompt these are the, the remaining prompts I have, so let's get straight into the video. I think I've already started talking too much. Since Promise picked first, she was the first person to reply the message. Yeah, so let's start with this one. I'm going to close my eyes like I normally do. Oh Lord, be magnified. Ah. Oh, no. From the feel of it, I don't know what this book is. I can't even remember. But it's... Uh, wait. Oh my god! The Night Circus! Oh my god! I was wondering where this book went! <laughs> the Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And today I was actually on my Kindle looking for books to read and I saw The Starless Sea and I was like, I've not read The Night Circus. I was just thinking about this book today and here it is. So, um... The circus arrives without warning. No announcement precedes it. It is simply there. When yesterday, it was not. Wow. So I think it's a time-traveling kind of book where the circus will appear at intervals. But what is what happens, you know? I don't know. So, yay. Then next one, Kenny picked number 17, which is this one. I have a feeling I know what book this is. And it's going to be Tokyo something. Tokyo something because i have tokyo dreaming on my bookshelf and while i was writing the names of the books i've not read i was looking for tokyo i don't know the title tokyo something yeah but i'm suspecting because this is at back so it should be it because i i don't know but basically let's do this together ever after so here it is looks so beautiful i honestly don't know why i bought this book i all i know is that i like the cover so much the cover is so pretty and i wanted it for a very very long time so i finally had it then yeah yeah it's about a girl that is half japanese half ja 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 american and she's trying to discover who she is i don't know i don't know i didn't read it i just then the one babe selected number number five guys i'm hoping this is bride by aliezer wood because I, I need to get that book out of my tbr already and also i've read not in love so bride is still the only book left 
for me to read you know and also it's you know winter uh, no sorry it's not winter it's autumn actually in my country we don't have all those things but we just say it is autumn so people read spooky books and bride seems to be a spooky book so why is it so why is it so wrapped like this what is wrong with my brother <laughs> oh my god okay so i'm going to just bring it out because it seems that Right, but then uh, the book was looking kind of weird. <laughs> Brian, why are you so I get to read it? Finally! So, I think what people say about Bride is she's a vampire, he's a werewolf, and they have to do this marriage of convenience for some reason. So, yeah. Whew. Oh my god. So, now, time for the, uh, the point that you guys have all been waiting for. Although, I don't know which point exactly you guys like the on the unwrapping of the books or the picking of the i don't know but basically let's do this let's do this i'm just picking one right so i have to get it right just one chance you know just one okay i'm closing my eyes to do this come on one have i picked something guys did i pick oh i think i picked like three. Oh my god i picked a lot oh uh, okay i picked two. Oh, uh, okay i need to drop one let me drop this one. Okay, so this is the prompt, guys. <clears throat> what does it say? I don't know because I cannot read it like that. An author you've never read. Hmm. An author you've never read. Hmm. There are so many authors I've never read. You guys will have to give me a minute, you know, to think about this because I don't know. <laughs> well. The very secret society of irregular witches. It fits, right? <laughs> I don't know what it's about, but I think... Okay, I always say I don't know what it's about. Then I'll tell you guys what I think it is about. Well, basically, it's about a girl that... Like, in this society, there are witches, but in modern day. So, she goes to teach two other witches or something like that. But this is looking like a very, very pretty stack and i'm th i think i want to actually do one more. i never learn i never learn i said i'll pick four i'll pick five i said i'll pick five i'll pick six <laughs> okay let's do one more <laughs> because this is so fun honestly it's so fun have you tried this you need to try it if you've never tried this before try it okay so uh-huh just one more god let this be a good choice because i'm not ready to pick something bad white on the cover there's a particular book that i want to pick it's at the back of my brain but i'm not the prompt is not prompting to do, do it why I will, I will look for it just chill give me a minute <laughs> guys <laughs> of course is this not white this is white this is white Sumi, it's white and it's on the cover of the book. This was actually a recent present from Promise and I, it was so unexpected and I'm so happy. You guys know how much I love My Roommate's the Vampire and Jenna Levine. I don't know if it's Levine or Levine, but she just released this September 17. I cannot forget the date. <laughs> Even if I didn't choose this book, I knew I was still going to read it this September because why not? See, this is the best... The best book stack ever, ever, eh, 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 ever. Yo, yo, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to subscribe. Tell me which one you are excited the most about. So, yeah, yeah, tell me the ones you've read, the ones that are on your own TBR also. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. Ooh, I'm so excited. Eh. Subscribe. In case I didn't say that before, subscribe. Thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs>